Right, so here is the spares bike after this week's work. We've done quite well, or Jeff's done quite well. We've got the uh, snout machined up. It's got a bearing in both ends. This shaft here is just it's temporary for the just time the being. machine just to slide yeah, the Just so we can get this pulley on to judge the clearances and where a belt tensioner needs to go, which is what this is on for. Yeah? I did, yeah. So okay. We can, we and can work still out a, the centre point. Okay, to still some work to do way, yeah. on the mount for this end, which you're going to use an alternator. Stub, uh, which stub. we've machined, ready to go into our top hat yeah, yeah. piece of steel. It's got to be pressed in and welded, and then that can be so drilled to so suit the pulley. Which will be next week or there. Yeah, next. It's but there's something else that's got to be done yet, um, and that is that there's an issue here with all the tension and torque that's going to be on this top pulley here, wanting to pull it down. That's fine, except for the fact that this whole... Sub <laughs> that's fine, except for the fact that this whole supercharger is hanging off the original for six mil, the eight, eight mil, six mil carburetor yeah. manifold. Yeah, so this is quite heavy. Bolt. Yeah, it's under a lot of stress, and this is even going to add even more stress to it. So to counter that stress, Jeff has made this wonderful bit of cardboard template, which, template, template. which will go approximately behind this plate eventually, eventually, and become a clamp, a support clamp, which will clamp around here and help support this snout and stop it from whipping around whipping. and and supporting the whole blower. Blower. Yeah, so that's the next task. Yeah, do you want to add anything else? Mm, well, apart from that and the the tensioner that's got to go, obviously pivot, it'll pivot around the same. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Snout. Um, and that's your next that's job? A, that's about it. And that's actually in progress now, isn't it? Uh, just in the middle of that. making that. Right, so let's go and look at that now then. Okay, take 15. So this is the start of that clamp we just talked about, that support clamp, which we had a cardboard template for. And what you're doing now is just... Is, what we've got to do is I'm just going to chain drill it out. Yeah. At roughly around where that black marker line is. Yeah. And then I can mill it... The shape you need, yeah. The shape I need, uh, work out where the slots go in. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously I'll leave it longer to make sure we've got enough material. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't cut it too short. <laughs> don't cut it too short, yeah. If you can always cut a bit off, you can't always add some. And that's made from yeah. what, is that about 10 mil or? I think that's half, half inch, that. Half, half inch mil inch plate. plate. Yeah. Obviously, yet, uh, yet another spare piece, you can see how it's been used in the past for other things, so. Come out of the spares aluminium department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So soon, okay. that'll all be um, cut out, put on the miller, machined out, and then you've got to fit it to the bike and make sure it's supporting that snout. Yeah. Just right. Yes. In the meantime, great. I shall drink tea and get on with my polishing right. of my guzzy bits. And I'll go back to the miller. Yeah, take five. And finally, I think we need to explain why we need to have this big filler end cover on the end of the supercharger. Um, I'll show you a picture now of Jeff holding a great big thick billet block of aluminium, which was this before he spent many, many hours machining it down on the miller to make this piece. Okay. So to explain why we had to do this, We've got another one we've prepared earlier on the workbench, which we can now go and see. Go and see. Okay. Right. Action. Right. So what we have here is an original Eaton end drive off the supercharger, which has been it's been previously modified. Yeah, but this is what you've now changed by making your own billet version. We, we have changed. I originally the, the original casing. Yeah. Is designed well. On the bike we would have fitted it that way yep. and driven it off the right hand side of the bike mm -hmm. but it gets in the way of the clutch when you want to get at it so you turn it round so, so it drives on the left hand side of the eating, bike eating in their wonderful wisdom we thought i know what we'll do we'll turn it round so we can come off the left hand side but voila the cover doesn't fit they don't fit it's Three not symmetrical bolts. it's not symmetrical i thought ah i'll get round that we can re-drill it wrong no They've even altered, every bolt hole is different. Just, is completely out. Just on so, you. Now, the reason why that's important is because these pegs here are the drive pegs to spin this thing up from the drive shaft. And when you, and when you spin it round, like we have, if we drive it from that lower one, it'll actually spin the wrong way round. Yes, yes. but what we're going to do... With a cunning on plan? The, on the supercharger that's on the bike, yes. we've cut them off. Well, we have, we've had to grind them off. Yep. And what we're going to do is machine our drive yep. to go on. Top one. We will drill three eight mil holes, mm -hmm. counterbore them. Yep. The, luckily, the gear is only hardened 
on the outside. So far down the teeth, yeah. it's, only, it's, it's only so far in, mm -hmm. and we've actually tested one of the gears, it will drill. Yeah. So we can actually set a little mandrel up, drill that thread sprocket, yeah. Thread the, the gear, and we can then bolt and our. That's, and that's a drive. That's a cush drive. It's it, got a rubber. Um, one part will be fitted to the input shaft of the blower, which yeah. the pulley will be on. And it engages like that. With there, a rubber, there's a rubber uh, push drive, yeah. push drive that will go in between. Okay. And basically. Yeah. And obviously, I was saying then, if we don't do that, if we drive it from this side, it spins the wrong way. It goes the wrong way. We do. Hence, you've got to make. It spins the other way by moving that drive to the Onto top. Onto that one. Yeah. With a one-off case. And you couldn't spin this round because it's not symmetrical. Bolt holes completely and utterly yeah, yeah, yeah. all in the wrong spot. So I'll now show the folks back. So I'll now show... So I'll <laughs> take, take tea, take tea. Give me a cup of tea. Give me a cup of tea. Tea. Give me a cup of tea. tea. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. I need some tea. So I'll now show that picture of you holding that big block of material, that uh -huh. big block of billet. Right. Which, which was turned into... Which was turned into... Um, that replacement for this end, end cover, yeah. uh, I can't see actually, yeah, this end cover here in picture, which consists of two parts for you. You made this bit first and then you made a snout which bolts on the bolts end. On. Brilliant. If you try to make that all in one, it's, it's too much, it's yeah. too much yeah. to go. Right. As clear as mud. As clear as mud. As cl so that's hopefully um, explain why all that effort went into making that end cover for the supercharger. So Jeff, why would you want to run it the other way around on the left-hand side? Why not just put it as it should be on the left, on the hang on right-hand side, um, and just run it the way everyone else does? Well, the drive, obviously, with, with the pressure that I think we'll be getting up to, the original Kawasaki crank only has a little four mil pin for the driving mm -hmm. a electronic pickup on that side. Uh, which I thought isn't going to be substantial. Um, so, plus, also plus even if we could drive it off that side, yeah. the blower belt and tensioner would then be in the way of the clutch cover, right. which means to get at the clutch, you you'd have to keep off. dismantling yeah. it all. Yeah. So, the w it swings and roundabouts when you're doing something like this. It's yeah, it's it, a compromise. It, it's a compromise, you know. and with the tapered shaft for the alternator being on the left hand side, it yeah. was easier. To drive, it, it, from to drive it from that side and leave. Right. Okay. The... And also, let's just spin that up if we can see how it works. So we have got two rotors. Two rotors kind of that arc, interlock. Yeah, like an Archimedes screw or something. And draws the air in from that side. From there you go. the side. So we just look at that there and you can spin that up. You can see how they interlock. And the air gets pressurized as it goes through. Draws in and, and gets squirted out the top. Pressurized into your chamber. For more power. For more power. Brilliant. Unfortunately, this supercharger has a bit of where the Teflon's coming off the rotors. Yeah. But so this one of a will setup. not be. No, that's used just for used. setting up. Isn't just, it? just be used for setting up. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's it for now. And cheers and bye.